some of the things that we'll be talking about. The ancient petrified world. The world that existed long before the world that we know today. A world that's more like Wonderland than what we're used to seeing. A world where there were titans, giants. A world where the gods walked about and warred against the titans. A world that was terraformed and destroyed and taken over. A world where there was war between two different races. The largest of them, known as the titans, turned into rock and they fell. Now before the rock titans fell, there was a magnificent garden paradise where everything was much bigger. Everything was fantastic and amazing. We had giant trees shooting up into the skies, beyond the clouds, reaching up into the heavens. And that world was terraformed and cut down by the titans. And then the waters were introduced into our world, the oceans as we call them, and everything turned into rock.
I have a dream I hope will come true that you're here with me and I'm here with you I wish that the earth see the sky up above will send me someone to love
Rocks consist of solid pieces of ragged stone with fragments of fibers that reach to the sky. But mountain is just a pile of loose waste, which were brought on by giant machines. It has almost perfect cone shape like every loose structure does. Sometimes those piles have chemical waste inside and sometimes those wastes react with each other and sometimes they burn and sometimes explode and then nerds scream that they invented a new volcano and will immediately tell you stories from the crypt how 200 million years ago this volcano formed those silicon stumps that is why there's no such thing as volcanoes rocks and mountains. You can throw out these terms from your vocabulary. All the rocks are just corpses of the silicon form of life. Not all of them have ex hexagonal structure like the Devil's Tower. Some of these rocks have lamellar structure or spongy structure like our mushrooms do our ancient world was so diverse that we can't identify or even imagine lots of species. There were giants in the earth in those days. There were giants in the earth in those days. And also after that, when the sons of God came in unto the daughters of men. So after that, there was more giants when the sons of God came into the daughters of men. And they bare children to them. The same became mighty men, which were of old men of renown. Two sets of giants is the reality of the thing here. There were giants in the earth and they were the men of old. Who was the men of old? The Titans, Kronos, Zeus, all of these guys. Now, that's what I'm saying. Now, who was the first set of giants? They were apparently the Titans. There were many giants. They employed the gold and silver, the precious stones and the choice wood in the construction of habitations for themselves. They sought only to gratify the desires of their own proud hearts and reveled in scenes of pleasure and wickedness. Not desiring to retain God in their knowledge, they soon came to deny his existence. The world was in its infancy Yet iniquity had become so deep and widespread that God could no longer bear with it. And he said, I will destroy man whom I have created from the face of the earth.